I'm going to begin with a couple of uh, two older short poems. To begin by announcing the form. To begin by announcing the form and have no hands to shape it. And to run wild inside the one hour as if it were the two hours. To set forth on the mechanics of time knowing there is nothing adjustable about the inherent zero and to set up on the one shoulder the terminus and on the other the unachieved weeping, which it is, being a man. To seclude the memory in the eyelashes and get married blind to the first of 20 brides in the full power of the month with the zinc teeth work and to fail arriving at noon. Oh, that perfect noon with its stone, with its cup, with its horse. To be involved in the industry of metal, shortening the sky by a full kilometer, redressing the injustice of the spoon with a dram of pure alcohol, and to go to bed hideously aware that this is life, quite simply, with all its fast little feet that never stay put, that never find direction. Thank you. Así es la vida. That's life. You wake up in a strange harbor, migration of horses in your veins. You have the strength to yield as well as to overcome the marginal and directionless fire. You run through the woods, fleeing yet embracing the dark season in which, inside which that woman bent over accepts you like a magnet and the fluid antinomies of your emotions capsize mountains and incinerate tears. You couple naked and are already older for it. Eternity is a whisper already, and the world is so variable and elastic that the dream of travel becomes the voyage itself across the marble sea. Myth and madness, like the incommensurate longing for certain shoes, obsess you and then leave you cold, and there is no swiftness like that of the dying day in condemned hotels where you spend paradise in witless acts of rage and love that exhaust you. The icy sands begin their critical course from your feet to the light's odd origin, and you listen in vain for the clock struggling with that cruel inner self which you denied for so long. Someone comes and plants roses in your eyes, crossing your hands over your breast, and though it cannot be, it certainly is. The waters go rushing the other way while you grow small in the empty sluice with the furious echo of the stars still roaring in your ears. Thank you. I'm going to read um, two more poems. Uh, both of these are from uh, my long poem, Madonna Septet. Kiss me, I'm dying. Adore your lotus feet, honey. I woke up last night, but you were not there. Um, I don't know how to read or write. Her face, ravaged by spiritual desire, walks down Walnut Street, mighty as another universe, quicker than a ray of light. Her boots, her steam, her quickened halo, I'm parched for her, have no desire other than to be as she, her, the one. Envelopes of mist ascend, taking all a man could ever be into the uttermost seas of remote syntax, and winds breaking against the ancient cliffs, hunger for your unattainable lotus feet, hunger for your oblivion. Never was that it could never be. As such, I drown a poem, a sandwich, a lie, and weave in and out of temples like waters through the Saragasso Sea. Fix me, I'm dying, as though I never were meant to be. White assemblies of dead stars, thick groves of matted Shiva locks, labyrinth of the impossible set to the flame. Moth eats my heart and in turn blows up. Uma don't know how to read or write, her face mutilated by a sublime passion. I am dead to have her, high tension wires upon which I walk, careen into the solar storms. She just steams on like jet, space separates and islands of nothing. I am her wake, a furrow of disappearing air. Woke up last night and you were not there, some thin vision, some crimson, some thread snapping in two, where the brain meets its Jerusalem. 
I am eating something, I know not what. You could be this illusion. You could be the refugee in my dream. You could be all I never was. Strange how the mantle turns to smoke and the leaves on the gesso tree, one by one, reinterpret all the Vedas. Simple songs are not for me. I am dead to sing all the forgotten ones. Adore your lotus feet, honey. Adore the way you seem to put them to sleep. When I lay down, the earth opens and a white glove named Persephone strangles me. Do I know you from somewhere? Mmm, candles lit all around the house. No mirror shines, no window shows. How is it you come and go? Uma don't know how to read or write. Gautama is blind in both eyes. You cross your arms, some darkness begins to grow, an end like another universe. Uma glows. With the graceful gait of an elephant, she strolls down Walnut Street. Behind her, an atavistic ecstasy, the gods pretend they are bhikkhus and kiss the pavement where she stepped. I am dead to have her. I no longer have a self. It is her. I am you. So far as I know, all else is ignorance. The sky is white tonight, and Gautama in both eyes is blind. Time has a way of leaving off. Space declines to answer for its way. You cross your arms. You are, your eyes are empty of heaven. You cross your arms, and I am empty of all heaven. There is, you know, I have to say, an oblivion. Never far from home, the death you read in other eyes is the death you, le you cleave to the bone. Woke up last night, but you were never there. Some dream it was, a book I wrote. The words were clouds, the pictures, some signals in the fire. I spoke to you, you were not there. The tavern filled with a thousand names, and Uma came and went to fill their cups. A crimson thread that snaps, a brain that cannot read or write. Another universe so far away, the ink that ravages her face with desire. I am berserk to have her, I am dead to the fountain of light. Gautama, and both eyes is blind. You you cross your arms. Do you know me from somewhere? You cross your arms and the end of time occurs. Hunger for your oblivion. Hunger for what you can never know. Kiss me. I'm dying. Thank you.